Hi guys and welcome back to another video in my channel. So this video is about our flip through and I usually like to do a flip through video before I relocate the first half of the year into another ring and relocating means just transfer it out because as you can tell here it's super thick and it's making my planner crazy thick. The bottom half here as you can see is from January till the end of June and then the rest is the rest of the year. So I definitely need to take them out. Okay, so let's start here. This is your January overview. I decided to use that page as a memory keeper. Um, but you know, when you're so full of ideas at the beginning of the year, you know, New Year resolutions, stuff like that. And honestly, this is the only one I've done throughout the year. The way all the monthly spread you see is through my monthly mystery kits. So this one is January and as you see this one's a blank page because I had my previous spread done in my old planner so I didn't want to do the same week twice. So we started off on the second. So this is the second and the, this week is actually my little one's birthday. He just turned two on the fifth. So I just made a little memory card of his birthday party. And heading on to the next week, this is, I don't really remember the name of the shop that I purchased this from off of my head, but I just love the monotone of it. And here was where we got the really sad news of my grandnephew. He passed away. Um, he was just only a year and a half, 15 months. So I decided to make a little memory card of him. And it was a pretty hard week for all of us in our family. And moving forward, and the shop I got this one from is Paper Honey on Etsy. And I just love that green color in anything. So I decided to purchase that because of the color. And this is our February, month of February spread. And this one here is one of our mystery kit B, I think, in our March mystery kit. No, February mystery kit. And here, this is my husband's birthday week, so I decided to just use the Mambi sticker book and go crazy. Um, that's when I start deciding to do scatter planning, like just randomly placing stickers everywhere and then start writing in what's done or due that week. So I've been trying that out for the last few weeks, starting from um, my husband's birthday. So this week, was a short week because the week following as you can see in the pink weekend the 25th 26th we were leaving to florida for my little girl birthday week we decided to go to walt disney world to celebrate her fourth birthday so that's why this week here is all disney themed and pink because pink is her favorite color and it's the same thing scattered um planning I rarely do scatter planning, so that's why I just, throughout that whole month, I was just like every week, every week trying to practice to do it. Here, this is one of our weekly kits and our mystery kits. This was our March mystery weekly kit A, I believe. And same with this one, this was one of our March weekly kits. So finally, after a month and a half, I decided to go back to my old style planning where the top part is my todays, middle part is all my full boxes, and then the bottom part is my to-dos. So this is one of our kits called All That I Need. And finally, I've used, this is our April mystery weekly kit that I've used here. And it was around spring, so this spread turned out pretty well with the pastel pink and yellow and green. So here's our April monthly spread. That's obviously through our mystery kit. Um, this one was a no kit. This one was actually a scrapbook page that I decided to use and just use scrapbook paper for this spread. And as you can see, it's scattered um, planning too. The week following after is Easter, so I decided to use our um, Easter Mystery Easter Mystery Kit, April Mystery Kit with the bunny theme because I thought it's a bit fitting 
for Easter, obviously. So we decided to, we I decided to do that. This is our bloom kit that is available in our Etsy shop, and it's the deluxe version here. Deluxe meaning that you could do a no white space spread with all the stickers that we provide you with. Literally everything is covered, but you could also do it with the regular um, style too. All you just don't get is the decorative and the sidebar. So here, this is actually one of our printables that you could purchase through our website and download, click, print, and cut, and you could use it instantly. And here is our main monthly view. I felt that with May going into May that, you know, the pastel should be done and it's time to get into the bright colors. So that was our May mystery weekly kit. Here was another, this is another printable. It's our Mother's Day printable. And for this week, I decided to do no kit. However, I got all these die cuts, I think from Michael's This one is our May weekly kit also. It's all about being girly, everything about being feminine and accessories. So I love that one. And so here is our June monthly view. And as you can see, it's starting to get busy when summer comes because my monthly view gets busier, fuller and fuller. So this is one of our mystery weekly kits that we used here. The theme or the inspiration here was Midsummer Night's Dream with the fairies. This is a no kit spread also. I um, I think I bought the washi was on sale so I decided to try the washi stickers. And I had this scrapbook pad too so I just made a spread out of this. So here is um, just a regular spread using the Mambi sticker book. And for this week, I decided to use my June mystery kit also, the kit B. And lastly, it's Canada's Day weekend celebration. I didn't want to do a red and white, so I used the color from the Canada 150 birthday official logo because it's just so diverse with colors and that's what Canada is uh, about diversity and lastly our July monthly kit so there you go that's our flip through from January to end of June thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in my next video happy planning bye